So we know that venetoclax is a highly effective therapy for patients with um, the CLL and small lymphocytic lymphoma. But one of the real world obstacles to using this therapy is the issue with tumor lysis syndrome. And so we had hypothesized that by using either abinutuzumab uh, alone or in combination with bendamustine, that we could debulk patients down to, um, to lower risks or TLS, and then safely administer this in an outpatient approach. And this is important, I think, for the community physicians that don't necessarily have as immediate access to, um, to hospitals, to hospitalized patients, to deep through their initial ramp up. And so this is making a more practical approach for patients with CLL. And so eligible patients for the trial had to have intermediate or high um, t- um, risk disease for tumor, for tumor lysis previously untreated chronic lymphocytic leukemia. They couldn't have had 17p deletion. Um, they were then underwent debulking with abinutuzumab or alone or in combination with bendamustine. And that decision was left up to the treating physician. They were restaged after every two cycles. And once they achieved low risk, they were then could go on to receive um, venetoclax given an abinutuzumab given in traditional fashion. And so what we found was that that you could, the vast majority of patients, we could um, move them from either intermediate or high risk TLS, and that was one of the eligibility criteria, to low risk. In fact, more than 90% of patients were low risk by the end of the treatment, and some 83% were low risk after cycle two. And so this was, I think, a much more practical way for many patients to receive their therapy, and it opens up venetoclax um, therapy to a lot of patients. Um, in the community. We also looked at, you know, looked at the MRD rates, and so we found that there was a high undetectable MRD rate um, at, the end of, um, at the end of treatment, as well as at the, after the end of, of the combination treatment of the combination of venetoclax and abinutuzumab. And so, for, for instance, um, there was, um, at using an undetectable MRD4 level, it was 97% of patients were undetectable um, and using the MRD6, there was uh, you know, 69% of patients were undetectable. So I think this is an important um, and practical way to give venetoclax and abinutuzumab to patients with previously untreated CLL or small lymphocytic lymphoma.